Hey guys, in this video, um, we're going to talk about how to take an equation and put it into um, focal form, is what we're calling it. Um, in a lot of books or on the internet or whatever, uh, depending on who you ask, some people might call the form we're talking about standard form or standard equation, like we talked about in the last video. Um, but we're going to call it focal form to kind of avoid some of that confusion. We want to take this and put it into focal form. So let's recall what focal form looks like. It looks something like this. Okay, that's what we're after. Um, we want x with some number squared, and then we want some number uh, multiplying a, a quantity in parentheses with y and, and another number. Um, we could also potentially have the other way around, y minus k squared. equals 4p times x minus h, depending on if the parabola is opening up or down or left or right. And we also know that this could potentially be negative and this could potentially be negative. So um, that kind of accounts for all four. This would be up or down. If it's negative, it's down. This would be left or right. If this is negative, it's going to be left. Um, so this is what we got here. And we're going to do something very similar to what we did in a previous video. So in the first video for this lesson, um, I reviewed how to write an equation in standard form or the standard equation of a circle given an equation like this and we used a completing the square um, strategy. This time we're not doing circles, we're doing parabolas, but the strategy is going to be the same. The goal is to get it to look like this. Okay? So we got an x squared, we got a minus 4x, we got a 3y, we got a minus 17. What we want is we want the x stuff on the left hand side and we don't want to get the kind of the y stuff over on the other side. Um, we're going to use this template versus this template because notice the x is the squared on it, not the y. There's no y squared in this. There's just an x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by getting everything that doesn't have an x in it off to the other side. Okay, So we're going to subtract 3y and add 17 to both sides. So that's going to give us x squared minus 4x. On the other side, we're going to have the, we have to do this on both sides, sorry, minus 3y plus 17. All right, got to keep it balanced. So on this side, we're going to have minus 3y plus 17. Okay, let's cancel. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to complete the square, like we've done before. We've got to figure out what number goes here that's going to allow me to write this as some binomial square. Notice I have a binomial square. That's what I'm looking for. I need to get a binomial square. So, just like we did in the last video, to figure out what goes here, we need to take this number and divide it by 2. Okay? Um, and let's just go ahead and write our binomial squared because we already know what we're going to get here. And then we'll, we'll fill this and this in at the same time. So what we need to do is take this number and divide it by 2. Okay, That's going to give us a negative 2. So I know in my parentheses goes x minus 2. Now to get this number, what number goes here? It's this number squared, right? The negative 2 squared, which would be plus 4. Okay, Actually, let me do that in a different, let me do that in a different color for you. So plus, plus 4. I better do that on the right-hand side as well, plus 4. Okay, so now sometimes we, we write this thing first and then we factor it, right? So you, if you want to do it that way, you can. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, squared is 4, right? And then how do we get what goes here? It's this divided by 2, okay? Um, we've done that many, many times. Hopefully that's still, you know, pretty fresh in your mind, especially since we recently talked about factoring this week. Okay, on the other side, we're going to have a negative 3y plus 21, okay? So we're almost there. Um, notice that we want some quantity here times a y minus k in parentheses, but in the parentheses, y doesn't have a number in front. The number is outside of the parentheses. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to factor out whatever is multiplying this y. In this case, it's a negative 3. So I want to factor out a negative 3 from both terms here. So I still have the same thing on the left, x minus 2 squared equals... But on the right-hand side, when I factor out that negative 3, I'm going to have y minus 7. Okay, just to double check, 
Um, negative 3 times y is negative 3y. Negative 3 times negative 7 is that positive 21. And now I have this in what we're calling focal form, right? You can find the vertex, which is 2, 7, okay? And then the focal width is 3. And if you wanted to find the p-value, it'd just be 3 divided by 4, okay? So this now is in focal form, okay? And we, we just do a complete the square. All right, we're going to do it again. So you're probably not a master of that yet. But if you need to, you can go back and watch this part again. Um, watch kind of what happens with the complete the square and, and how things work out. But here's another example for you. Now, in this case, the y part is squared, right? y squared, but there's no x squared. So we know it's going to look more like this. It's going to be in this form. We want the y stuff on the left-hand side. So anything with the squared, um, y is squared, that stays on the left. Anything else that has a y stays on the left with it. Everything else has got to go. So what we're going to do here is subtract x and subtract 19. Okay, we've got to do that from both sides because we've got to keep this thing balanced. Right? So our next line here will be y squared minus 6y. I'm going to leave a space here. Equals negative x minus 19. All right, now we've got to find out what number goes here to complete this square, complete the square, or make a perfect squares trinomial out of this so that we can factor it to a binomial squared, or something that looks like this. We want this guy to turn into something more like this. Okay? So to do that, we've got to figure out what number goes here. So that number is this guy divided by 2, and then squared. So negative 6 divided by 2, that will give us a negative 3. And then we take that and we square it. That's going to give us a positive 9. Let's add 9 on this side as well because we've got to keep everything even, right? Okay, so we keep that even. Now the next step here is we're actually going to write this as a binomial square. That's the whole point of figuring out what number completes the square is so that we can write it more like this. We want to write it as a binomial square. So we're going to have y something squared. And remember, to figure out what number goes here, it's this number divided by 2, the middle number divided by 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 that was negative 3, okay? And then we squared that number to get here. So take this number divided by 2, that's what goes in your parentheses with your variable. Take this number divided by 2 and then square that number and you get the number that you need to add on the other side, of the, or on the, on the trinomial. Okay, on the right-hand side, we have negative x minus 10, okay? Now let's take a look at our form real quick. Uh, over here, excuse me. We don't want a negative x. We want like a positive x inside of parentheses. So the last thing we have to do is factor out whatever is multiplying that, that x. In this case, or up here it was a y and it was a negative 3. We factored out a negative 3. In this case, it's just a negative 1. We're going to factor out a negative or factor out a negative 1. So the last step here, we'll go over here again so we have some room, is going to be y minus 3 squared equals negative, or negative 1, times x plus 10. All right, just to double check, a negative or negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. OK, that all checks out. And now, my equation is in the focal form that I want it to. All right, I can see the vertex now. The vertex is negative 10, 3. And the focal width is 1. And the p-value would be 1 divided by 4, or a fourth. So both of these are now in focal form. Okay, Very similar to the first example that we did in the first video um, for this lesson. But that was with a circle. That's something we had done before. Now we're just doing kind of a similar idea, but with parabolas. Figure out what the squared variable is. Get everything else away from it. Complete the square. Factor the left-hand side, factor the right-hand side, and then you're good to go.